Right, that'll do. Hey, boy! Morning, Holly. There we are, we coming. Ah, you bandit! Good morning. Got a load of malted barley just arrived to get loaded up. Should have three, maybe four loads of barley today. Final start to disappear. So after this load, there should be definitely two loads left. And then we'll see what's sitting there after that. Doesn't take long at all in here. Probably take about 12, 13 minutes. This is going away to be malted actually for a new distillery just three miles along the road. I don't know if it's got a name yet actually. Another lorry just pulled up. Right, there we go. First lorry loaded. There's the dog. Another one's just arrived, so I was just getting him a passport. Done. That's two lorries in and out this morning. I think there's another one arriving in about 20 minutes. Also, cracking morning. I'm just gonna wait for this lorry to come, load it, and then go and finish the oats that I didn't get done yesterday. And lorry number three. You get the door open again, shut that because there's pigeons flying in and out, so get them all out. They make a right mess if you leave them in there. Here it comes. Another load of molten barley, that's the last one. And then at some point Today, tomorrow, I'm not sure. There's a load of feed barley going out. Let's go. One more load. There's definitely one load sitting there and then we'll see what we've got left. It'll be five ton maybe. Right, there'll be two and a half ton there or so. We've got a feed pile, so it'll just go into the feed pile. We'll get more money for it as feed than on the same contract we had that molten barley on it anyway. This could do a blowout. Okay, next stop, I've got a dolav on the back there. I need to fill it up because we're out of feed here for the Highland cows and the sheep. First, I just need to check these cows, have a run around them, check they're doing all right and see how Percy's doing. There's a big fella. Oh, he looks good in the sun, doesn't he? Hey boy. Good boy. He's a champ. All going well, fingers crossed. 60, 70% of these cows should be in calf already. Presuming Percy's uh, firing on all cylinders and the cows are all fine. It's something like, in the first three weeks, 65% should be pregnant. In the next three weeks, 85%. And in the next three weeks, 95%. Something like that. So roughly we should be sitting at about 75% pregnancy. Um, assuming he's following an average curve. But otherwise, everything's looking well. I'm happy with these guys along here. The only issue is, well, it's not an issue, but this wee fella, he's kind of got short legs on the front and he's a bit dainty and he's a twin and he's not speediest. He's fine, he's alive and he's relatively alert, but he's not gonna be a prize beast anyway. He's just kind of the wee runt, good fella. Quite like that cat. All right, get some of this into here. Maybe we should have brought two so I could have tipped the bucket, but anyway. I'll just scoop it in. Right, that'll do. This weapon. Now we've got a livestock trailer on, so I've got three cattle to take away down to the abattoir. So we'll just oh, help if I could reverse. They're loaded up. Here they are. Three nice looking beasts. 
so we'll get them away to Glasgow. Right, we're in action, got three passports here, so cattle, just like humans, they've got passports. They get a wee barcode and an address from the holding that they're at, so not all cattle stay in the same place um, for all their lives, so when they shift places, like getting a stamp when you go abroad, they get that, they get a stamp, but they stay abroad. Okay, next stop, Glasgow. Right, that's the cattle away. Head back home again. There's quite a lot of traffic. Took quite a while to come down here, a couple of hours. Another banger on the radio. Banger, anyway, right. I've made it back. Oh, there's a tank. Ah, oh, I was hoping to go spraying, but look over there. Can you make that out? It's minging. It's not wet here yet, but that's coming this way. Flipping heck. Four o'clock now, so I, could, I really need to get going with it now if I'm going to do it. Because I just had a phone from a fertilizer company, so that's coming. Another load's coming tomorrow, which was expected today, but they didn't make it today, which is fine, so I've been too busy. Um, Kev's been busy at the car park, and Dad's away, so there's been plenty on. So that's coming tomorrow, should have time to deal with that. The weather's better tomorrow, so I'll maybe I'll just wait off and get that spray in done tomorrow, and then by that time, there's other stuff needing sprayed as well. Anyway, go and do the hens feeders just now, and then what we need to do next. We're off to the races. This one's coming out the hopper, that one's going in. So this is full, that's empty. There's a cog that drives the chain, so there is shear pins in it. Uh, keep my finger away from that. Uh, there. See that shear pin there on the end of my finger? So if there's an issue with the chain, best case scenario is that pin shears. But it does happen that the chain breaks every so often. We've got a spare chain to, to repair it and it doesn't take too long, but it's just more annoying. That shear pin's a lot quicker to repair. These sheds are now coming up. They're probably now 18 years old. There's two sheds. Each hold 2,300 hens. Uh, we've split them about six months apart um, so that the peak laying of each set is, is delayed so we don't get a period where there's loads of eggs and a period where there's zero eggs. It is on the list of things that we're needing to update is the hen sheds and um, this one and the other one are both needing replaced. We just haven't got round to it. We've got a never ending list and unfortunately not a never ending pot of money. That would be nice. So we try and pick a project each year or every two years to pick and go at. This is getting near the top anyway. The hens are kind of the basis of where the farm shop started. Coming up 20 years ago now, my brother had a few hens. Um, and he sold the eggs to school teachers, to parents when he was at school, in the garage at home. He sold the eggs from there as well as my mum made jams and chutneys and whatnot. And then mum decided she wanted to open a wee shop at the same time um, to sell the eggs and do cakes and things like that. So that's where it all started is with these bad boys. That's why on the Globeburn logo, here it is, there's a hen. For the last 20 years there's been hens on the farm range hens it's roughly about half the eggs get delivered locally and the other half get used for one selling in the shop two for your fry up in the morning when you come for breakfast three for all the cakes and sponges and um, anything that anything baking that uses eggs it's all our own free range eggs that's why it all tastes so good and the bakers in the shop they're pretty handy here comes it full again chains disappearing there you go that's it so i can turn that one off this one takes a bit longer because it's a longer chain. 